niggas. Bout the gold thriller, jack the thriller on these niggas. Bout the gold thriller, jack 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 the thriller on these niggas. All I need is a fucking red jacket with some zippers. And cut it. Thank you, Drake. I still think you won. But anyway, <laughs> welcome back to New Jack Thriller City, man. Yo, I got two ghetto legends in the house, man. These comedy legends, man. Indescribable and Mr. Bank Shot. Man, hailing from Alero, Ohio, and Memphis is in the building. Yo, okay. drop that round of applause. All day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Let's go, man. How y'all doing? You know, I'm blessed and highly favored. Yes, you are. You know, God yes, is you are. good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Man, I, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bank Shot, what's happening, man? How you feeling, baby? Hey, man, I'm, I'm blessed. You know, too blessed to be stressed. You know, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> y'all go to church. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Y'all believe in God. Yeah. yeah man. <laughs> Y'all, y'all be talking some crazy shit I'm trying, Look, I'm trying to get mine out of the way now because I know this interview going to go left, so I just want the Lord That's to know I was just playing. <laughs> that, that, no, it's going to go right. It's going to go right. It ain't going to go no... It's going to always go right up. Right okay. Up. Yeah, man. So, yo, t- talk to me, man. Um, Yo, Mr. Bankshot, open it up. You you, you are serving the military. I did. I did. I did some time in the military, you know, four years. You feel me? Got in and got out. Got out of there. It's old, cause so it really wasn't about you was trying to know what I'm saying be patriotic and love your country. You was like, hey, nigga, I need that goddamn go to college. Yep. I need some goddamn uh, uh, some, some disability. Benefit. Yep, that's it. <laughs> got you. Know you. What I mean? That's that's it. In and out. I got out when the uh, the government shut down when Obama was in office and they was trying to get people out of there. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide. Well, hold on. What you mean? What what what, what they was trying to get people out? Because you know the government was shut down, so they couldn't like pay uh, people who was in the the military. So they pretty much was like, yo, if you don't want to be in no more. Uh, go AWOL. So that's what I did. And there were no repercussions for that? No, I got an honorable discharge. Get out of here. Boy. So you still get your benefits and your pension and all that? See, no, nah, I don't get none of that. But, you know. <laughs> but I ain't had to go to war. But that, that's like the, the key, you know. That was like, <laughs> that's the, oh, you was going to have to go to war? Pro- possibly, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that's the benefit. That's all I need right there. Any particular reason why you didn't want to go to war? Um, you know, I like to keep the peace. And you, and you like to keep alive. I like to keep alive, you know what I mean? I got a mm. lot of family that depends on me, so, you know, I just wanted to. You you, you feel like you was going to be one of them lucky niggas to get killed? I feel happened. like I would have survived, honestly, though. Mm, I think yeah. you would have survived, too, bro. I, I can't see myself getting blown up. No, me neither, dog. I think you could have you definitely sung your way out of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, 100%. That's funny. Yeah. Memphis oh is God. in the building. Already. What's going on, Indescribable? Yeah, man, I'm chilling. I'm yeah. chilling. I'm just happy to be here. I'm so glad y'all invited me. Like, I, this is interview I, of a lifetime. Hey, let me tell you something, man. I, I was I was excited about inviting you, and I was scared at the same time when I found out that you was from Memphis. And oh, stuff, Lord. I knew y'all be killing niggas. They, well, they do. They mm. do. I came from an upper middle class family. Ooh. I don't do any of the street antics. Mm. Um, you don't even talk like that either. They, wow. Oh, this is my other voice? Oh, this your oh. other voice? Oh, you, when, you, okay. when you get around them niggas, that's when that shit go out. Uh. My bad. Oh, you want me to relax a little bit? I would love it. Facts. Facts. Okay. You, you at home. Okay, so what you want to know? What, 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 what's popping? What's tea? What gang you was in? Okay, so that's that's classified information. Okay. No, I'm gotcha. just playing. I don't do no gang stuff. No, I did. I grew up in Memphis. I moved to Mississippi when I was a little bit younger. Oh, what so part? I'm really a country girl, North Mississippi. North so North like Senatobia, South Haven, mm-hmm. right like 30 minutes from the state line. Gotcha. So um yeah, I'm in the country though. We I like, you know, mosquitoes and you know you dandelions like and hot heat, humid, you know, summertime. Like I'm a country girl. Oh, you got a bug zapper in your on your porch? Absolutely. Gotcha. Fly traps and all of it, yeah. Got you. You got like, what about roach traps inside the house? Now see, we don't do the roaches. Okay. Now okay. the roaches mean your house ain't clean. We ain't, that, we ain't that, try to do it, all that. It, okay, I would just ask. It's some bugs that you can't avoid though. Be in the country. Niggas that's but in they, love with you want to know. But well, no, ain't no roaches. But you know, it's a difference in the roach type. You know, like mm-hmm. the little bitty roaches is the nasty roaches. Them the yeah. ones that your house ain't clean. That's right. Them big water bugs. Yeah. When I first moved to Atlanta. I didn't know them niggas would pull up in your house and start using your utilities. Yes, I didn't know. They, them some big water bugs. Mm-hmm. And so they just be everywhere and you can't help it because they come from, you know, a lot of the apartment complexes are in wooded areas. Mm-hmm. So they just, they really just be kicking it in your spot. And they got a birth certificate and like, everything. I mean, under the mattress, just like mine. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it really ain't nothing you can do about it. Mm, no, no, it's nothing you can do about it. Either. I ain't know, but I, you know, I be like, you know. When the roaches fed up. Put some on the lights and you when got the it. You know. <laughs> Please. One hundred percent. Because he'll do the song. No, he, It'll be posted he, tomorrow. Please, I, I, I can't wait. Yeah, y'all need to do it. That <laughs> y'all need to definitely we do it. That we got a show coming up. We might do it. Oh, yeah, so it's versus battle. Yeah, that's crazy. You you know, 
you, fun fact, I got a chance to host Versus before. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, with Anthony Hamilton and Music Soul Child. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so you guys are doing a Versus, a comedy parody Versus. Mm -hmm. Like, how did this come about? Where y'all meet each other at and whatnot, and whose idea was it? That's a good question. Those are all very good questions. I know. How you want to take the lead on this you, one? you know I do this, right? Yeah, you do this. You, you know I was this. the first nigga to do this shit, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> facts. It's, it's kind of... Yeah. You a trendsetter. I told yeah. you, you a legend, man. You a legend. Come on now. <laughs> we met um we met through some Greek um MPAC type shit, because mm. he's an AKA, I'm an alpha. And um Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I didn't make it to college. Got G -G. <laughs> oh, it's okay. AKA. Right. Is that the ski you? That's the ski yeah, ski we yeah. Okay. No. You're a sexy red. <laughs> oh, Please don't listen to Nick, because all he does is lie. <laughs> he just make up stories. That's not that one? The no, ski, ski we. That's, you're confused. You're mixing two together. Oh, so it is a ski you people, and it's, it's a, a ski, ski It's a ski we. Ski we. And then there's a oop. -oop. And it's a oop, oop? That's different. Yeah, oop. that's Delta Sigma Theta. Got you. Yeah. So when, okay, got you. We're going to come back to, no, shit, hold on, before we go, go right there. Lord Jesus. What's the, what, was y'all upset, your organization upset when, um, Sexy Red came out, or y'all like, all right, now we back. I don't we know. Back. I don't know because I'd be tuned out after the the debacle of what year was that? That was like seventeen. Twenty seventeen. I don't know. There was a parody that went viral and they didn't like it, and so I was like, all right, I'm gonna head out, you know. Um, but I I don't be offended by none of that stuff because it's I just it don't be relevant to me. Like this lady is. She's an artist. She's making her money. People obviously love her music. I, you know, I'm like, I'm not like a fan of hers, but, you know, I hear some songs and I'd be like, you know, I could go, this could go up in the club, you know, like if I, if I went, you know, I'd yeah. be in the bed by six, but, mm. you know, if I was going to go out, I would listen to this, you know. Mm. <laughs> so, so, oh, so let me ask you, if you ever be in the car and that, it come on and you find yourself, and then you like, let me turn this shit. Not that like, song, but like, get it sexy. Because uh -huh. it got the little Halle Berry uh, sample from Hurricane Chris. Oh, that's why we fuck with it. That's why. So when they come on now, I be about to flip my car over. I ain't gonna lie. She got me. That's my song. Yeah. Halle Berry. Yeah. Halle Berry. Girl, you know that ain't so fat. I ain't lying. No. You sure enough, right? Yeah. I like God that. I like damn. that song. <laughs> I was wondering why that shit was so familiar to me. Because we knew it already. We knew it. Yeah, we, and we loved it already. Yep. That's the secret to making a goddamn hit is to find a nigga that made the hit already. That's it. Mm. That's it. The formula already there. Now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, let's get back to it. How did it all come together? And whose idea was it? Uh, it was like a collaborative idea in a sense. Because a lot of people have been telling us to collab. For a long time, mm. we was y'all like, go together, don't you? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we, ain't never, we, ain't, we ain't never. That's a lot. We <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah, we ain't never did. No. no, we have been friends for a while though. Yeah, we have been friends. I could tell. Yeah. I heard y'all yeah. before the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long time. Yeah, like them niggas know each other. Nah, it's my dog. It's yeah. my dog. It's okay. been a while. Cause, cause, I, and I always take the opportunity to tell people when I speak, um, like in interviews and stuff, uh -huh. um, like. I didn't know that I could do what I'm doing until I saw him doing it because I was kind of new to social media uh -huh. and I ain't know about, you know, being an influencer is not that, we ain't been doing it for like 30 years. So uh -huh. that's kind of new. So when I first got on Instagram, this was back when it was like, what, 15, 15 seconds, seconds yeah. and you had to edit in the in the app yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, CapCut didn't exist, all this iMovie stuff, none of that stuff existed. So I got on the internet and I came across one of his videos and I was like, hey, I do that. And I was like, well, maybe I could do it on a larger scale. So when I saw, saw him consistently doing it, I was like, okay, well, if they'll watch him, they'll watch me, you know, like, because I'm cute, you know, like this guy, you know. That's crazy. I was like, at least I'm pretty, you know, like, they'll watch me if we, I don't We do look it. the same when you don't got your hey, boy, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we literally He's just playing. So, yeah, to answer your question, we've been friends for a while. But, um, yeah, like, he kind of inspired me to do it. And so I always give him his props when I, you know, speak about him because this is not a lane that you see a lot of people in. Mm. And so when you talk about parody artists, like, I don't think anybody in this room can name five. Nope. No. No, I can't. And, uh, and I'm a com I'm definitely a comedy con connoisseur. Yeah, because it's not. And then you, when you think about the, the big names who do it, you think about Jamie Foxx. You think about Weird Al Yankovic from the uh, 80s. J. Anthony Brown. J. Anthony Brown. Mm -hmm. So, wait, J. Anthony Brown from, from oh, Drumline? Yeah. Yeah, yes. I need to see this. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, we um back in two thousand. He did it consistently, like yeah, yeah. 
I missed that error. I gotta go back you're and research that. Goddamn, that's, that's is this all. a is this a you just got here? This an auntie thing? <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, okay. You, I'm not you, auntie. You, yet. you knew. You knew. These knees would. You be a new so. auntie? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, I'm you, new. A, you a new auntie? You're like, well, you're I like know. a new old nigga. I ain't know. I'm gonna have to see that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to see that then. Yeah, I, I would you like missed out on a bunch of shit. Okay. One hundred percent. I ain't know. Hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Jay Anthony Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old you is, man, Jack? I'm thirty five and a half. 35 and a half. What, what, what this boy is 40. Is? Mine's August 7th. August 7th. I got a cousin that's in jail right now, August 7th. For real? Yep. yep. So yeah, I say what up next time you talk to him. 100%. He on the chain game right now. He'll love that. Sure. Man, I sure appreciate He might know my daddy. My daddy in jail, too. Word? Where you locked up at? Uh, he in Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He they be, don't he play. He be traveling, though. Huh? He be traveling. Oh, he go to different jail? Yeah, he on the pickleball team. Woo! Got you. <laughs> What do, you, what do you say about you these days and stuff? Now, like, or do you know, what, like, what, 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 about your material and you know your newfound. Well, he don't, uh, he don't get to see it. So, <laughs> oh, he, he ain't in one of them jails. <laughs> oh no, he, he no, he, oh my God. he like prison, prison. Stop talking to him. God, you. <laughs> he don't get to see it. But I be telling him sometimes over the phone. He, he didn't lost his privilege. He, yeah, he didn't lost his privileges. For sure. Oh, he one of them prisoners. For sure. Mm, yeah. How when he getting out? Uh, shit. Life is over. When you die. Yeah, but he might get out in 27, actually. He might get out in 27. Really? Go back to the prison. How long you been gone? Uh, since 97, so. Sheesh, right when Biggie Smalls died. 28 mm -hmm. years. Yep. I think that was the last album he got to listen to before he went away, so. Sheesh, uh, he missed out on a lot. Mm -hmm. Life after death, you know. Got you. Life after prison. Life after prison. Yeah, yeah I might have to do a collabo. I see something yeah. coming on. Y'all got two years to write it. Come on now. We got mm -hmm. a little time. I like it. That's a good coming out party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, who were some of your um comedic inspirations and uh, uh that inspired you to do what you're doing right now? Oh man, uh, Dave Chappelle, hands down. Uh, Chappelle show era was like my my era right there. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I, of course. You know, yes. Uh, New young nigga. Jamie Fox. I like Jamie Fox. He's yep. versatile. He can do it all. Oh, Damon Wayans. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Damon Wayans fan. Uh, um, um, okay. You know, okay. Major Pain is like my favorite movie. Right. Hands down. Word. You know, uh, Robin Williams. Okay. You know, I'm going to go on the white side a little bit. Robin I like what Williams. you did right there. You know what I mean? I, I like Robin Williams. Um, Jim Carrey. And I feel like that's like my mm. my top right there. Good solid. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, what about original uh, comedians that do uh, um, songs? Original comedians that do songs. Oh, original. No, when I say original comedians, I'm sorry. Original song making comedians, like Adam Sandler. You you know some of his stuff. I'm not hip. From the Saturday Night Live era. Yeah, Saturday yeah. Night Live era, and you know he does he does uh, the whole guitar thing. Yeah. With his uh, stand up and stuff. Yeah, I've seen some of it. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it. Got I, you. I like his movies though. That's right. That's right. So I will say that. That's that, that, all I got okay, on you you don't you don't like white people. Uh, that's not yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, I said you, you got a movement that, called no, "It's Cool to Be Black." No, because I love like okay, so I like Robin Williams. I like Bill Burr. Oh, okay. Um, okay. George Carlin. Oh, okay. Um, you, come on, get the, you. Oh, you know nah, white folks. I ain't saying it's a long list of people. Gotcha. You know, yeah. like it, it, three white people. Because I just feel like um, <laughs> you know, like I feel like growing up in a black cu culture, like mm -hmm. that's what we know, that's and right. it's not you know like our um. Like our environment just is more lit. It's more fun. Like we make everything okay through laughter. And so I don't see when I look at white people I think stand we up. Make everything I don't think it's cool. We it's not okay, cool. but we're able to get through it by laughing about our pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I don't think white people have that when they're you know what I'm saying? Like it'd be funny, but white they, people go through shit too. They do, but it ain't the same. It ain't the same. Like y'all don't have the same struggles that we have. It might be the same though. That might, it, nah, nah. You, you just ain't white. That's why you don't know. Yeah, because they might do it a different type of way, but it's still the same within their culture and environment. Yeah, because keep in mind, we can get. We have, one thing about us, we can get inside our own bubbles mm -hmm. and everything, and just you know what I'm saying. Think that it's th this is all that's out there. Mm -hmm. But if you if you like you no, know, because like right now, I'm really. Uh, expanding my horizons and watching, uh, um, making myself watch a lot of white comedy now mm -hmm. and everything. And one of my new new favorite comedians um, is that dude Kill Tony. Y'all familiar with him? Mm -mm. 
Uh, did y'all watch the Tom Brady roast? I was just about to say, it sounded like I yeah. heard him on the Tom you Brady roast. The, the, uh, the gay dude. The gay, they went up there and he was ripping everybody. The gay dude. He, yes, he's the one that said something about roast beef and Kim Kardashian or something yes. like that. I do remember uh, him, yeah. He yes. was he was hilarious, actually. He Yeah, he he, he was better than uh, Nick. He was, the, he was the funniest one. Yeah, I think so. I like the chick. The white uh, chick. Nikki Glacier. Yes. Mm -hmm. She was high. Nah, she went crazy. Nah, she, she was, went She crazy. was funny. She wasn't better than Kill Tony. No, she wasn't better than Kill Tony, though. You would put her over Kill Tony? No. You gotta watch it again. You gotta watch Kill Tony again. Yeah, what? nah, cause he went he went ham for like forty five seconds. If you go watch, if you go subscribe to his shit on um on uh YouTube, he got cause he got one of the the top um, live comedy uh YouTube channels uh mm -hmm. and where the, and the way he just he does his whole podcast, man, that shit is so. Which one funny. was he? Huh? Which one is he? Which you know, he was a short guy, the gay guy. He had the little he had the little short, he looked like Nick Kroll a little bit. You know from the, um, the Hormone Monster show? What is it? Yeah, that's right. He sure do. That's what he looked like. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. No, what? That's funny. No, no, no. I don't know you so you don't be watching the Hormone Monster show? What is the name of that show? The Hormone Big Monster Mom? show? Big Mouth. Yeah, I don't need yeah. Nick Kroll, the dude that the voices the characters on there. Right. That's who he looked like to me. Okay. Hill Tony. I'm going to look him up. He's hilarious, dude. No, he was funny. Yeah, yeah. He, he's hilarious. And uh, he have a lot of people like come on to him. Um, parody stuff and live stuff, and uh, he does this thing where he um, he brings like new comedians on, and they do like a minute of comedy because you know the comedy hub right now, the new comedy hub is uh, Austin, Texas. I did not know that. Yes, it, like they got uh, like a, damn near a thousand comedy clubs on the same strip on on the Sixth Street. Oh wow! Oh, no. Yeah, y'all should go do a show. Y'all be perfect on there. Mm, that's good. Yes, uh, uh, um, Joe Rogan. Um, uh, he's under his network. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's big. So uh, uh, they got money then. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. They selling out arenas. Kill Tony on uh, on the road with um uh, with uh, uh Andrew Schultz and um uh, uh Kosh. I like Andrew. Mm. Yeah, I do like Andrew. Yeah, Schultz. yeah. I came up with him. Even though he looked like. Mm -hmm. He look like a Nazi, though. Yeah, hey, bro, yo, <laughs> get, them, them white boys, they get it. But they ain't yeah. always been like that. They used to, like, really be having, you know, they own white struggles, the mm. same as us, get, trying to get inside the game and whatnot. And mm. you don't even really notice that until you kind of go abroad and go check out their world. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's the same, but they just white. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they just white. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about this versus thing. Yeah. So y'all had y'all came together and said we should do a versus, and how do y'all put this thing together? What's gonna be the vibe? Oh, it's gonna be a, a, a dope vibe. We both picking ten songs a piece. Um, ten. Ten songs a piece. Woo! Right. Yeah, we got. And we got we got bangers, <laughs> so we, yeah, got we got plenty got, of material. We got some hits. We definitely got some hits. We'll tell jokes in between, explaining why we did the song during the time, like why we did it. Mm -hmm. um, probably have some musical guests perform like beforehand. Mm -hmm. Have a comedian host it. It'll be a nice little vibe. Some shit ain't nobody ever seen before, so we're excited to do it. Got you. Got you. Uh, Y'all had uh, just, uh, you know what I'm saying, hooked DJ Phoenix Tug with some of the parodies and whatnot. I wanted to play a little snippet. Of course, we can't really add like that. So we we going to hear it and hear and then tell y'all about what's going on <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, DJ Phoenix, throw me throw me something real quick. That's right. It's Jack Beauty of the Week, and I'm over here with the beautiful Kylea. Yeah. Shout out to Molly World. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, Kylea, where are you from, young lady? I am originally from Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, you know that? Yeah, I be hearing it on movies all the time. Yeah, yeah, a lot of crime up there. <laughs> get out of here. People is killing folks and robbing and stealing and all kind of stuff in uh, yes. Poughkeepsie. <laughs> yes. It sounds like a beautiful place off the rip. Mm -mm, it's not. No, okay, wow. <laughs> so when, when, when did you get to the A? What got you to the A? Because you know we, we, gotta, we, we can beat that crime. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> How many times you had your car broken into down here? Um... Once, actually. Man, thank thank the Lord. Right, right. That's like an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, you're doing your thing. How long have you been here? I've been here since 2008. I went oh. to high school and college down here for mass communication. Okay. All right. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, they, 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 they you, you know where to hide your shit at. Yeah. One time, that's good. At this point, yeah. For One sure. call, that's all. <laughs> okay. Good. What year this happened? Um, probably like three years ago. Three years ago? Yeah. Oh, oh you was you got comfortable. A little bit. Yeah, got yeah. yeah. The, the Over pandemic. there by Metropolitan. 
Uh, Nick, yeah, you should have. T- I, I, I was at a studio. Oh, yep, yep. And over I, there by Queen City. I, uh, I mean, what do they call it? Peaches of Atlanta now. Oh, oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah around the corner mm, from that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Do you know where you was at? Yeah, I, I, I messed up. It okay. was my fault. I left like a bag sitting oh, in the we, back seat. It was a bag of weed. No, 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 no. Bag of clothes and shoes. So. <laughs> Somebody took all of that. They went ahead and, you know, was looking all good in my stuff. So they probably needed it more than I did. So it's all good. We got to fix. Was there <laughs> anything inside that bag that you were just like, these motherfuckers, I can't have shit. All of it. Oh, yeah, oh, I want all my stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. What, what, what did you have? What, what was the most, like, you, what, what's something that you missed? Um, like it was an all black pair of heels, you know, all black is always your go-to as a model. Like for me, you see my modeling. Ass. Okay. Look, come on now. And so, yeah, that's like the main thing. Cause they were like, just perfect, perfect for runway. Perfect for like any occasion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got you. Man. So <laughs> I remember when I, um, I had just had got like a, a bunch of new glass eyes. Mm-hmm. Right. And I was going to go do this, uh, do Uptown Comedy Club back in 2006. Two, mm. No, five. It was 2005. I was at Uptown. Mm-hmm. And I had parked behind this, like, abandoned uh, car uh, car, uh, car dealership. Bad idea. Motherfucker <laughs> broke in my car, took my book bag. It had all my eyes in that oh, bitch. Oh, they'd have been mad. <laughs> and, and, and them motherfuckers were 5000 apiece. Mm. I was so oh, yeah, no. high. And I had a job at the time. I was working at Gladys Night Chicken and Waffles, mm. and them motherfuckers was not letting me come in with this eye. Wow. Yeah, I got fired instantly. Like, Damn, I like that one. I got to do comedy full time now. This some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that I, was I, a blessing. It, yeah, I had, I had to make it work. Yeah. It, it backed me into a corner. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, what are your turn-ons and turn-offs? Turn on is a man that knows what he wants. Ain't nothing like that, okay? Mm. No, so it's he said, hey, look here. Kalea, I want some coaching. Oh! <laughs> hey, well, I will say I love honesty. That was my, my next thing. That's what they always say after you say some shit like that. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you up front about it. Yeah. I mean, being honest, that's the way mm. to go. Uh, I think the truth will set you free. Yeah, all right, now y'all keep on asking for the truth. Because <laughs> th- these lies buy you time. <laughs> I'm over here trying to pretend like I'm a really great guy, <laughs> but it's Meanwhile, only here for a limited time. Mm. Say, just tell me the truth. I, I hate when women say, "Man, if you'd have just told me what you wanted right off the rip, I might have would have gave it to you." Then you'd have said that shit. Then you'd have fucked it all up. I'm like, God damn. Not necessarily. It depends on the woman. It depends on the woman. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. But what if you want that woman? <laughs> what if you want that motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're right. It's a way to go about things. Yeah, you, you have to fill them out. You know what I'm saying? So you know who to lie to and who not to lie to. Ooh. Who need the lies and who don't need the lies. You hear this, ladies? Listen. Hey, it'll Pointers. save a lot of money <laughs> on these dinners, these Ooh. unanswered dinners and stuff. You know, yeah. You took a girl out about three times and stuff. She asked you, hey, so you want to go on another date? No, because I don't feel like not fucking again. Mm. Okay? I appreciate you wanting my company. Uh, for the thousandth time. So, what is your sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. I'm compatible with Virgo. Yeah, what's yeah, your I'm, sign? I'm a Taurus. I just oh, had a birthday. Oh, yes. yes. Happy yes. belated. Yes, 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 for sure. So, do you believe in Zodiacs? I do. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you, you one of them crystal girls? I like crystals. You yeah, are, you, you, save, yeah. Oh, yeah, you crazy. I'm an earth sign. So, you, yeah, I'm connected. We all connected. Oh, yeah? Yeah, to, oh, okay. the, to the moon, the stars. They you got know? your ass. Mother Earth. Okay, okay. That's I'm nice. the manifest queen, so I got to be connected to the, to the you, you know, you universe. And y'all always manifesting. <laughs> That's that's that, that's their favorite. Hey, thing that's how I'm I'm here right now. Like gotcha. I remember saying, I'm gonna be a model. I'm gonna be an artist. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And I'm doing it now. I've been doing it for years. That's so. right. Cause you you rap, right? I do. I sing and I rap. You sing and you rap, man. Yeah. I, can you give us a couple bars? Can we borrow a couple oh, bars? Oh, okay. Can we okay. get on our feet? I used to be a little girl from the small old town. Didn't know the big old world, but they gonna know me now. Had superstar dreams. Looked around, didn't see no rich things. Knew I was a star, so I kept pushing. Built myself up, made sure I didn't need anything. Got me an apartment, car right, sense and bling. Now I'm styling. Turn my life around, my face on everything. Dreams into reality, yeah, it's a thing. Call me the manifest queen. Come from the bottom, you know what I mean. 
I mean, I can keep Yo, that going. was cold. Come on. Thank you. Woo! That's called star power. Yeah, yeah the I manifest see. queen. I'm really, you know, it's not it's not on me, it's in me. You it's, feel me? It's all over your body now. <laughs> it's all over your body now. Cool, cool. Man. Yo, you really you really are talented. Thank you. Come on. It, with, with the big tongue. You, you know? Once again, ah. Michelle Cousin right there. That's my, <laughs> yeah, I thought Lisp Michelle had all. a big tongue. I lisp and all. Mm. Suffering succotash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michelle, throw us a cuffing season question from the situation ship. Do you have a history of cheating or being cheated on? So, mm. Kalea, do you have a history of cheating or being cheated on? Let's see how she answers this, guys. Well, I'm not a cheater. If I don't want you, I'm breaking up with you. I'm too direct and too straightforward to be playing games. And I'm very protective of my energy, so I don't like to spread my energy very thin like that. Mm -hmm. Now, being cheated on, I'm sure I have. You sure but you I ain't catch him, because if I caught him, okay. it was going to be some drama, drama, drama. Okay. Shout out to all them niggas that respected you enough not to cheat in your face. Okay, basically. <laughs> okay, <shit. laughs> that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Kalea, name something that would immediately turn your ass off during sex. Uh, Sheesh. Maybe like being too rough, like ch choking me too hard and smacking me too hard over and over again in the same spot. Like, that's annoying. I would be like, just so, stop. So you want a nigga to kind of <laughs> pretend like he about to kill you? No, no. You know, it's a way to do it. It's it, a way. How the hell do you do it? Because, hey, listen, I, that's some, I, I'm, I don't do that shit. When, um, I had a girl ask me why I don't, I don't choke. Because it looked like I'm choking you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this like this sound like a trick right here. You're like, you, you going to call the police on a nigga. Uh -oh, uh -oh. You no. Know, <laughs> it's too much bullshit going down these <laughs> days. Hell no. Uh, and y'all, uh, how old are you? I'll be 30 in September. Oh, yeah, you still a new nigga, so. A you, new nigga? Yeah, you a new nigga. <laughs> See, all of y'all, them, them young girls, they be wanting you to spit in their mouth and all that, like they a baby bird and shit. <laughs> it's, it's, I ain't never heard of none of this before. Yeah. Yeah. It's all that stuff that's on the internet. Uh, so why. you like when people spit in your mouth? Maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> 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 I mean, it. if you're going to do it, like, if you gonna do, do it, it all uh, the uh, way. Like. Is you spitting in his mouth, too? Yeah. Holy cow. That's how I even learned about it. Yeah. Shit. Uh, holy cow. Golden showers and all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, I, I told y'all, young man. Now, I will pee on your ass. I, <laughs> I have no problem with peeing on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'm doing the pee. I don't want, I, you can't. Oh, you peeing on him? Yes. Yes, yes, I will do that. <laughs> Is you peeing on him in his room or you peeing on him in the shower? Just pee on him? I think I would like to leave that to the imagination. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, there it is. It's a lot of ways to go with this imagination part. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yo, let them know how to find you because you definitely are a kid. Yeah, Hold on. Thank do you, do you, you. you date with guys with kids? I do. I prefer not to because I don't have any kids. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. That is. But so I know where we at, so that's like a rare thing to find somebody that don't got kids. More well, actually, it's more guys that don't have kids than kids. That, but where that, they that, at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? This motherfucker, man. Okay, okay. It's just the niggas you like. Uh oh. <laughs> uh um, tell them how to find you, okay. um, and spell it out. Make them get it right. Get her shit right. Yeah. This, this is a catch right here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Yeah, so my name is Kylea once again. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It's spelled K-H-I-L-A-I-A-H. And I'm a model, actress, artist, entrepreneur, so tap in with me. Let's go. That is. That is, man. Hey, Jack Beauty of the Week. Molly World exclusive. Yes. Kalea. Shout out to Molly Casting. You already know the vibes. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs>
That's he was like, doing that's a line. right out of Memphis. That, yeah, that's he, he was doing a line. Right there. Yeah. He was doing a line that's back in 2016. Yeah, that's 2016. Wild 2016. time. What, what's the name of that song? Heat. Heat. <laughs> And it was fine. Like, and now, it was now fine. Now tell me what inspired that. Uh, I just heat. moved to Atlanta in 2016, and Atlanta heat is way different than Ohio heat. Uh, oh yeah, hot Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, hot Atlanta for sure. Yeah, so you, 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 you uh, Atlanta heat will get you musty real fast. Oh, ASAP, ASAP. It'd be yeah, like it, terrible. It, it, like when you go like sit down and depending on what type of chair surface it is, mm -hmm. you know, you might stand up and that little sweat crevice will be right there on the seat. You know what I mean? Little hot oh, booty. Man, I don't, that, that shit, be, it pisses me off. I feel violated every time right. that when that shit go by down my back and they go in the crack of my ass. Oh, yeah. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. And then you try to rub it so you your shirt or your pants could absorb that drop mm. before it get to yeah. your crack. Yeah, it's the, uh, uh, yeah. never want to be musty again. Now, mm. um, uh, one, the Atlanta heat make you take three showers a day. They do. Thousand percent. Thanks. Definitely. Definitely. Come out Memphis got some crazy right. heat. Memphis is hot for a lot of reasons. It be too much going on, but yes, the heat. It's all it's all concrete, the city. You know, like when you live in cities like that, it ain't much to absorb the heat. So it's just sitting around just on people. It's humid and don't let it rain the day before. It's you're gonna have a sticky day. I don't oh, like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. It's That's a what sticky be having y'all so horny out there, man. I can't relate. Everybody got a thousand kids in Memphis. Not me. I'm childless. You childless? Team FTK. How you made it out? When you move out of Memphis. Being responsible. Uh I left Memphis probably when I was like Eight, but I left oh, Mississippi. That's what, that's what it was right there? Yeah, I left Mississippi when I was like 20. <laughs> if, if you would have stayed in and Memphis. There's no way. If there you would no stayed way. in Memphis, no matter if you was on the north side or the mm -hmm. neighborhood and all that, you had about five kids. There's no now. way. Gorilla don't. Gorilla? Man, we don't, I don't believe shit Gorilla say. You think she got kids? I definitely think she got kids. And she's hiding them from the world? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%. Wow, I think she crazy. got they got six nibbles like a Rottweiler and they all come. When soon as she go to bed and start sucking on all them nibbles. <laughs> 100%. I don't think so. I think that she probably just, I don't know, sometimes we just don't be wanting to deal with, I, it ain't, for me, it ain't even the kids. It be the people that you have to make the kids with. Mm -hmm. And when you don't make a solid decision in that, like child child raising is a lot more difficult than it has to oh, be. Oh, hell yeah, So I be is. like, nah, I'm good. That's why I, I gotta be dog. leaving. That shit, nigga, that shit hard. And if a, if a dude leave me with a baby, I'm leaving right after him. Yeah, <laughs> leave so, that baby right where it's at. We both, we mm -hmm. both abandoned yeah. you, so I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like a mother. Child. And they, and they will be. Because <laughs> yeah. I refuse to do it alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so with that being said, when a guy tells you, hey, listen, uh, indescribable. Do, is it okay? Indescribable? Sure. Yes. Okay, cool. You know, listen, I know you're pregnant right now, but um, yeah, I don't... I ain't ready for this shit. No, I know it's your body. Mm -hmm. You can do what you want to do, but uh, uh, you know, they is uh, doing abortions in Texas. Uh, what you... That, I'm not, I ain't saying go get one. I'm just saying I got 500 on it if you want to. So do two it. things. Okay. Number one, I would never be in a situation like that because I don't deal with people that I couldn't see myself having a baby with. Oh, you're that's, a virgin. That's number one. No, I didn't say that. Uh-oh. But number two. What I'm, are you saying then? I'm wildly responsible. Oh. Like, it's so many ways to not have a baby. It's only one surefire way. Oh, you still hunching. To okay. get pregnant. And I think people be missing that part. Like I'm all for I'm I'm for abortion rights and women mm. reproductive rights. And I tell women, hey, your body, your choice, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But I also am just very responsible. Like I just don't play fire. I don't play with fire like that. Like mm. I know I don't want to have a kid with somebody who is unstable mentally or physically, financially, whatever. Mm. I don't want to have a kid with somebody who gonna be arguing with me over little stupid stuff. Like you gotta What's have some sense. What's little stupid stuff? Like. You know, kids, kids, no, because kids do, <laughs> kids do dumb things, right? If you see the child is not responsible, uh -huh. why are you rewarding them for not doing what they're supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. Like, and people get mad at you when you make comments about parenting because uh -huh. you ain't got kids. And I'm like, bro, it's certain, I don't need to be a parent to know that dad is stupid. Uh -huh. That, you know, like, this is chaotic. Like, y'all don't need to be doing it. Like, so what? people. Like, like, for instance. Like you know, that. Like, when you see the child, when you see the child misbehaving. Okay. Like, I'm not saying you got to beat your kid, but mm -hmm. kids need to learn early and often that there are consequences for their actions and they need to understand boundaries. If you're not willing to do that, then you don't need to be a parent. Mm -hmm. Bring back the beatings. Bring but, back the beatings. Back I didn't say beatings. that. He said that. Got you. He said that. Bring back oh, hold on. Time. So, 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 Goldie, you whooping your kids? Goldie, you whooping your kids? I be fake whooping. What's fake whooping? That's when you I ain't never had that. Ooh. 
Yeah. Yeah. Just talking about skinning them and embarrassing them. They don't got to do the thing. That's you, you know. You got a whooping before, though, right? Yeah. We all got whoopings growing up. Yeah. And we all right. No, niggas got fucked up. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna say we all right. Yeah, we all we all, all right. We all yeah. need therapy. We all oh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe we not all right. I don't know. <laughs> I suffer from a seizure every now and then. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, are we really okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think so. Whoopings can be very traumatizing. I, I still got some scars on mm -hmm. me from past ass whoopings and stuff, you know. I mean, you just gotta teach them mentally, discipline. Mentally. Kids just need to know discipline. And I think because yeah. the consequences don't be immediate, like they be trying to test their boundaries and stuff. And I'm like, if you, if every time, if every time you lie, told a lie, yeah. you got a big red dot on your face, everybody would know that you're lying. Mm. And you don't want the residual of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you wouldn't lie. Mm. Yeah. But because you can conceal things, you can keep from being honest about them and ain't nobody else got to know the truth. That's why people do stuff. They, they, they don't mind hiding stuff. Yeah. So you got to teach kids that you can't hide everything and I'm going to discipline you out of love. Mm. Mm. This world is going to punish you out of frustration. Mm -hmm. That's what you don't want. Mm. Boy, it ain't nothing worse than if somebody finding out you lie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> when nigga find out you a liar, it's yeah. when you grown too. Yeah, because you might get dragged in Dollar General or something. Yeah. You got, might go to jail. Ain't yeah. no telling what could happen. And mm. I just, you know, I'd be like, protect the kids. Y'all be getting mad at them for doing dumb shit, but yeah. Yeah. they look at their examples. Yeah. 100%. You ain't lying. There's some, there's some very bad examples out here. Uh, <laughs> well, Another reason why I ain't having no kids. You can be a good mom, though. It's not that I don't want any. I just, I have a lot that I want to accomplish, mm -hmm. and then I want to make sure that the person that I have a child with is on the same page as me. Oh, okay. I don't want to create another traumatized human being. Okay. Like, we, we've suffered enough. <laughs> Got you. You in a relationship now? No. Okay. Got you. What kind of guy are you looking for? The kind with money. I'm done loving niggas for who they are. Like, I'm not interested in you having a... Nice personality, like I'm I'm Your taking too many L's. I'm taking too many L's. Is gotcha. you gonna pay this mortgage, yes or no? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm done. You said yes or no. Are you gonna pay this mortgage, yes or no? Next. <laughs> got you. Okay. I'm just kidding. He's gotta have some sense it. though. I'm not mad. We gotta have some sense. But okay. you know, we want the standard. We want provision, uh -huh. protection. Uh -huh. We want honesty, you know, vulnerability. That protection thing be kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like, I need a man that can protect me. What the fuck you be doing all day? What kind of shit you getting into? It might not be physical protection. What, what, it, it what might kind be, of protection is it? It might be like if... if Who wants to fuck you up? It, it ain't even about that. It's like, okay, so protection to Who me is... To protection to me, like, say say me and Nick go to his family house uh -huh. and his auntie say some wild shit mm -hmm. and he don't check it. <laughs> Maybe Nick want to know too. Like, hey, but that's yeah. but protect me though. <laughs> like, protect me from that. Like, I don't want to have that conversation in front of oh, everybody. Got you, got you know it. what I'm saying? Like, dang, oh, so put up a beer. What if Nick had set the shit up for them? That, his auntie to ask you that shit. Then and me and him got an issue. That. Then me and him got an issue. Because why would you want to embarrass me in front of your folks? Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what she said? When you got a gun in your head. Right. So check. So when you check got a gun auntie, in your head. Check auntie. Then when we get in the car. I yeah. Can back up. We talking about it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Because, okay. you know, p people have you in weird situations and they, you know, like a lot of people make bad jokes. You know, it might be anxiety. Oh, yeah, 100%. It might be they just so playing you or whatever. So stripper, huh? Indescribable. Right. And now, now I got your auntie in the head like white potato salad. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you one of them. Now it look okay. weird, you know, and I'm yeah. the type of person like once I feel tried, I'm okay. not trying to figure out what was your thought process. <laughs> okay. I'm finna try you back. Okay. Mm. So you, you didn't fucked up somebody's relative No, before. no, that, that ain't what I said. Then what did you say? That ain't what I said. What I said was implied, yeah. when I feel, because I feel like at a certain age, we be knowing what we doing, right? Okay. Yeah. You know, certain people be saying slick stuff. Sure Passing it off as a joke. That's right. Don't play with me like All that. All day. Okay. Yeah. I'm the type of person like, do you mean it or not? Backhanded compliment. Because if you mean mm. it, I'm finna mean what I say too. Okay. Mm. That's all. I'm just saying, be prepared for the energy to be reciprocated. <laughs> One. Whatever you do. Are you in therapy? I like what you did. Of course I'm in therapy. Okay. My <laughs> therapist told me. Oh, I just was asking. I just... My therapist told me. Just... She said, stop letting these niggas play with you. Okay. And I said, fat <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> so niggas be playing with you? No, nah, you know, just people in general. Not like, not like people just in general play with you. But yeah, yeah. you know how you just be in some odd situations right that you yeah. know, like people just be saying crazy stuff and they don't be knowing why they saying it. Uh -huh. People be having ma diarrhea of the mouth, and I'm like, you ain't got to say everything that come to your mind. Sometimes yeah, you need to learn true. restraint. That's true. That. Hey, she got that, everything. That. She ready. got all the drops. Man, what? She is on it. That's Give her a daughter. raise. That's my daughter. Really? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Come on, in the family? <laughs> in the family. I don't I would... know if he's playing or not, though. What? I know, because he play a lot. He do play a lot. Hey, That's really your daughter? He'll call me daddy a couple times. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. 
Okay, now she's playing along. I don't know. I'm confused. Put the D on there. You're making it weird now. Put the D. There we go. Oh. Okay, it's a lot. It's. I don't know. This is a nice rug. It is. Where y'all get this it from? Is. That's very nice. That is a nice one. That is cute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so, uh, Bank Shot, same thing for you and whatnot. Um, do you have kids? I don't have any kids. Oh, right. right okay. Uh-huh. I've never got nobody pregnant. I never paid for no abortions. None of that. Got you. You feel like game is on fleet? That matters. I mean, yeah, oh, you, you know. The booty hole? Nah, nah, nah. Whoa. I stopped doing booty hole activity um, after COVID. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I had to stop. I had to stop after COVID, man. So, you know, but yeah, no kids, man. You know, I, I live life on the on the wild side a little bit, but still I ain't. I ain't never had no mishaps, so you okay. know, clap it up for that. You know, all my siblings got kids. I'm the last one. Me too. Baby, so you know, you it's you a blessing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, are, are your standards just as the, the same as um, indescribable here when it comes to finding somebody to be your significant other, the, a carrier? Uh, yeah, you gotta have a little sense, you know. I feel a like sense. I feel like since I made it this far, uh-huh. I can Without be you. yeah, I can be a little particular on okay, you know who yes. I want. You a catch? I'm period. I, I don't. The I don't like to say that. That's the woman's line. You know what I mean? I <laughs> gotcha. like to just say okay. that. You know? what, what are you, uh, like she just said, are you the prize? Were you, are you cool with pride? I, you know, I'll take that, you know. But okay. you know, we can be. I see you all politically correct. Yeah, you know, you got to be. Turn man. the camera off like, man, I don't know what that bitch talking about. Yeah, you know, you got to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be politically correct, you know. But yeah, no, I mean, I feel like, yeah, for me to not to have no kids, I'm doing my thing, you know. Okay. I, I definitely feel like I'm somebody who uh, somebody else could benefit from as far as having a, a child. And I feel like I'd be a good dad. I done seen all my siblings fuck up. Okay. So I know what not to do. Yeah. Got you. Damn. Okay, so let me ask you this. Now, um, just like she said, she she needs somebody to pay her mortgage. Now, are you uh you down with paying mortgages or are you a 50-50 guy? You know, I'm not necessarily a 50-50 person, but we can <laughs> do like, you know, 65-35. 65, I'm not mad at that. You know, 65-35, it ain't 50-50. I don't mind taking on majority of the role, which okay. I've done before in the past. What's the majority of the role to you? Do she live with you when you're taking over majority of the role or no? Um, if she's not living in your household, are you 65-35 in this particular area? No, 65-35 only applies when, when you live together. Now, I done, you know, paid some rents before. You know? Oh, wow. I done, you a bad motherfucker. Well, I mean, it, like, this is a while ago when rent was like 900, you know yeah. <laughs> So, you know, Rent high now. It's a little high now. She said she got a mortgage. Yeah, now. yeah you it's know, so it's a little different now, though. But yeah. y'all might throw you, you a little. You know fun. how the ATL mortgage is. Yeah, yeah the HOA and all the yeah, taxes. All that. And Ooh, yeah. that HOA. Mm. My sister just told me her HOA was four hundred yesterday. Maybe I wouldn't even move in now. <laughs> four hundred with a month. Three or <laughs> under. I can't yeah, do it. Cut her grass and all that shit. Oh, blah blah blah. See, nah, nah, nah. See, I'm the type of nigga, I'll come and cut the grass for you. You know what I mean? We can chop those HOAs down a little <laughs> right. bit. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to do. But I might throw you a little something towards your rent if we not living together just to kind of mm-hmm. you know, let you know, hey, I'm here. You're going to pay that pussy bill. You like, got I, to. You know, I, I feel like if you are sleeping with somebody, you yeah. got to look out for them financially. That's just, they yeah. got to be able to depend on you a little bit. It makes bit. sense. Exactly. It, makes, it makes sense. 100%. I, I, I definitely... Um, can second that emotion, but hey, but but fellas, if you're not sleeping with somebody, you don't have to do that shit. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to do a goddamn thing. Save your money. You don't want to be one of them niggas because somebody's getting that ass for free. Yo, she's a genius. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> Jackie taught me. <laughs> She got all the drops. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, you know what time it is. It's foodie call time. That's right, man. And I'm over here with Off the Bones, Chef Nick. Man, what's up, boy? What's Nick, 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 Nick. Man, you, you, so you cook, you tell jokes, you, you sell dope, you babysit. Man, what is it that you don't do? Jack of all trades. Come, no pun intended. Oh, no, no, man, fuck that. Pun intended. <laughs> man, so what comes first? The food, the comedy? Put me on. Okay. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> yeah, family man first, man. I got a 16-year-old son. I'm trying to get him through high school, and then I'm going to take this thing to another level. Right now, comedy and food is my deal, though. 
Okay, okay, okay. When did you start at cooking, man? And are you do you come from a family of cooks? Yeah, family of cooks, but it's just a skill. I ain't no chef. I ain't go to school for it. It's just a skill I learned. And my brother-in-law, rest in peace, Mike, he taught me how to do this, and I just, I'm keeping it alive. Oh, so Mike was a grill champ? Oh, yeah, he was the grill master. Got you, got you. Do you remember the first time somebody said, hey, yo, Nick, you know, you might want to take this seriously right here. This is, this is, this, this uh might be your calling. After he taught us the skill with the seasoning and stuff, we went out without him because he was a truck driver too. We went out without him and then people were saying, man, it still tastes the same. So we just kept it going. And when he got off the road, we went full fledged with it. Got you. Do do you call it uh you 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 uh call it, hey, this is Mike's barbecue and you know, in remembrance of him, or you say, fuck that. You know what? <laughs> Mike would have wanted it this way. Yeah. This is Nick barbecue sauce. <laughs> It's just off the bones, you know what I'm saying? We just we started out together, and I'm just keeping it alive. I can dig. Yeah. I can dig. All right, cool, cool. But his spirit's still here because everything we're doing, oh, of course. All right, now everything we're Mike doing now is with? Hey, the seasoning. Okay, gotcha. All right, daddy. <laughs> Mike seasoning. D. Yeah. Secret recipe. Ancient secret recipe. D. How long you been doing comedy? Uh, about two years now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, and how does the comedy start? I was a class clown, so it was natural. Mm. Do you remember the first time that you went up, and where we where did you go up, and how did it go? I went up downtown on Edgewood. I forget the name of the little bar we did, but I got a standing ovation. So not a standing ovation. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you must have a hell of an ending. Owl bar, that's what it was. Shout out to the owl bar downtown on Edgewood. You mean the R bar? R bar. Owl. It was hours that night. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do this. You do this. All right, so tell me, man, what, what are we doing over here, Grady Baby? So we got mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese, and we got some homemade baked beans. We got ribs and rib tips. It's ribs with sauce or without sauce. Okay. Everything homemade, though. Everything homemade. Nan stove bought. Got you. I'm excited about this food, man. I'm ready to try it. Let's see what it do, man. Hey, but before we go, man, you got to tell everybody how to find you. On Instagram, off the bones, O-F-F-D-A-B-O-N-E-Z. <laughs> Yeah, it is right there. Who the Now you get some current shit. I'm going to get my shit for you. <laughs> Listen, you got to know who in the room, baby. Because mm. please don't play nothing from 2016. <laughs> what? It's cringy, baby. And why you say that? You know, growth. Um, oh, oh, what was wrong with 2016 uh, in the scrap? It wasn't nothing wrong with the year. But, you know, you just learn things. You nah. get new, new technologies. You know, uh -huh. you upgrade your system. You know, back in the day, we was... Filming on, you know, just a little regular phone, a, a, a iPhone 3, Got you know, you. didn't have a whole lot of lighting, mm -hmm. we, you know, doing what we can, gorilla shooting everything. Uh -huh. But yeah, I feel like we have grown a lot and mm -hmm. that's crazy because that's on iTunes. Got you. Got like, you. that's a whole, I had a whole album you know, dropped you in February. Up. It was yeah, That was crazy. everywhere. I was like, bro, I wanted to do real music and these niggas then took the goofiest song I have and made it trending on charts. I yeah. was like... It'd be like that. I was like, okay, God, whatever you say, you right, know. It'd be like that. Whatever's the, getting the bills paid, we're going to run with it, you come know. On, come on. So here we are. Now I'm the BBL girl. I so, ain't got a lick of surgery. Hey, hey listen, I need you to, to, to take me from one to done. When that, when that shit, when did you realize it was starting to hit and whatnot? And then I want to go back after that. And we're going to talk about the origin and, the, you know what I'm saying, the mindset, what made you do that. So it's crazy because... Like the day that I knew that it was like, like I, the day I knew that it was big, mm -hmm. I feel like I saw Snoop Dogg post it. And yeah. I was like, I was like, not, not Snoop Doggy Dog, mm. Snoop D-O-Double-G. -double mm. I was like, this is huge. And then I started seeing other celebrities post it. And then some celebrities didn't know it was my song. They posted a video that had the song in the background. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like it's celebrity after celebrity and huge platforms are posting it and people are using it on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Like I'm getting DMs like here go another one. And then, you know, we in Atlanta, so damn near everybody got one. Um, and it was just crazy to see it blow up because one thing about our comedy is there's a lot of truth in it. While you're laughing, there's still a message. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so people always, you know, they feel like people are body shaming them or trying to say something negative about people, you know, having surgery when it's, I've been made fun of my whole life for the way that I look. Cause I'm small. I, I ain't got no, nobody like that. And so when I see girls like me who feel so insecure or so small because the Instagram models are getting all the likes and stuff, I had to remind myself like 
this shit don't mean nothing for real. Like, I'm talented. I'm smart. I'm pretty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to do those things to compensate for insecurities. And so I and I'm not saying that all women do that, but I'm saying a lot of them do those things because they like the attention that comes with it. And you don't have to do that if you bring something substantial to the table. Hey, listen, your body's banging. Thanks. I, I know. I be, in the gym. I be in the gym. <laughs> Sit ups, crunches. Squats. Come on, come on now. The handfuls is all in the right place. That's what I said. That was it. I said God gave me exactly what He knew I needed. Right. Come that, on now. Don't be a hater your whole life. Don't lie. Now we let you cook now. Right, we let you cook with your little military stint. So do y'all gonna be doing that on the show too? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is my dog. Y'all gonna go in. Uh, Absolutely. This is gonna be a real versus. Oh, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. This yeah. Is brilliant. 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 Um, so, like, what was the reactions, you know, from, you know, actual women with BBLs? Was they on your, on, well, how do they say it, you know, on the west side? Was they on your bumper cut? Oh, baby. They, yeah, they they was cooking me in the comments. Mm. Yeah, they was cooking me in the comments. Oh, but I'm, I'm like, you can't say anything to me that's going to break my spirit because mm. I know who I am. Oh, yeah. So, you you know, of course, I've seen, well, you're built like a boy and you got a flat chest. And I'd Man, be like. I, I would like to be locked up with your ass. If I, I, we ever go to prison, <laughs> niggas, boy. Hey, I'm gonna take my little pocket out. You gonna be following me with my but you know, my pocket. People just be saying wild stuff. They Nick, say wild. I'll be things. ready to die for you in prison. You hear oh, me? Oh, thank you. Please Nick, don't die for me. Nigga be fighting over your ass every day in prison. <laughs> no, that's a lot. That's my little boy girl right there. That's that's mine, right? Nigga, I will shank nah, anybody. My little boy Nigga, girl. Nigga, leave this motherfucker oh, alone. Nice. But it's a, it'd be crazy because social media, and I'm sure he can tell you, social media works in like stages. Yeah. Once something goes big, everybody loves it. That's, That's right. the first wave. Okay. The second wave is the criticism. Okay. Now, now the funny is wearing off, and there are people that are actually hurt in the comments. Yeah, you know, yeah. baby, I didn't write this song with you in mind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not targeting people when I do this. Mm. But what I have seen is a history of women getting these cosmetic procedures, and something goes wrong on the table. Either their body looks crazy for the rest of their lives, uh. it's something that they can't reverse, or they lose their life. Uh. And it's sad. I don't wish it on anybody, mm. but I also don't wish the insecurity that comes, you know, from making those decisions on anybody either. Because being a black woman in this space, this is a male dominated industry, what I'm trying to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so being a woman in this space, of course, I get told if you had more body, you would look like this. If you dress like this or if you sold sex, you would get more opportunities. And I'm just like, that ain't. I don't want those kind of opportunities because once I concede to that the first time, you're going to expect me to do that for the rest of my career. Your, that ain't who I am. Come on now. Mm. Your so. talent got a big booty. Your talent got big titties. Come on. Talent, talent thick as hell. Body. Come on now. Your talent. Ta yeah. your humor talent thick as hell. Yeah. Right? Your my voice writing is crazy. Skills. Thick as hell. Come on. Lyrics. Come That's on it. Now. Thicker than cold grits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Peanut butter. You, you write like the dream That's with it. your comedy. I Thank like that. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. That's a huge compliment. I love him. I love y'all stuff. Oh, Both of y'all. Y'all are. Who, who, who I write like? Hmm? Who, who I write like? Flavor Flay. No, I'm, 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 I'm on your way. You know what I'll give you? Flavor Flav is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Flavor <laughs> yeah. Flav is wild. Mm -hmm. you, you, you write, if I was to, you remind me of my boy, um, uh, Akeem Ali. Ooh, no, I'll that's take that. a nice one. Yeah, I'll he's take that. his you, pen is sick. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, nah, he's oh, dope. He's yeah. dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you a bad motherfucker. Man. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say somebody like ain't nobody know. I was gonna be like, damn. Of course not. I, I <laughs> never you, did. Gerard somebody. Wilson, <laughs> <laughs> my homeboy I went to high school with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know Ricky. Right, he's Ricky. off on Peachtree. Tony Frazier. Right. Nobody know Tony, no no Ricky. Nigga, you remind me just Tony Frazier, bro. Who the fuck is Tony Frazier? He work at Quick Trip. He work at QT. Off on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At Buggies. Yeah. At Buggies. Hey, Buggies. Hey, you ever been to Buggies? No. Oh, my God. You got to go to Buggies, nigga. I'm sorry. They got everything. They got it's fucking everything. It's, it's oh, no. That's the one that got like, it's like a superstore inside a gas station. Mm -hmm. what? Yes. Okay. They, they have you buying fun. dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. You'll be in there just buying stuff you know you don't need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, cra it's wild. It's very like, oh. I was like, I'm going to get me a brisket sandwich and go to the car so I don't spend... You know, the light bill in here. Yeah, hey, I went there with Goldie. Goldie had brought a, a halter top and a brisket sandwich at the same time. A halter top? Yeah, like the, the halter top for He said, man, you never know. I, you know what? And I was about to say that. You know, situation him, might he was going to put the Goldie on it. It wasn't for him. Probably, Come on, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Situation's going to arrive. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to act, yeah. he tried to act yeah. like it was for his daughter, I but I was like, nigga, I got you got too. I got it. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Um, Yo, throw us another song, DJ Finish Star. Not the verses starting right now. Uh -uh. Not, no. Bad nigga. 
Shit, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I want to know how it went crazy. You ain't supposed to be crazy once and went high like high school. Unfortunately, man, that nigga gay. <laughs> that nigga gay was the was the best one, and it pissed me off just because. I had so many other good ones that I thought were like, you know, like top right. tier. But, right. Um, crazy thing about that, I dropped that in like 2020 or 2021. And it was just kind of like, eh. And then I was like, fuck, I'm going to repost it. I'm going to put it on TikTok. And I put it on TikTok. And then that motherfucker just went, mm-hmm. just went crazy, man. But I ain't really get the, uh, not, let me not say I didn't get the credit for it. But like people was like taking the sound. And somebody else's name was attached to it, and that's how it started going crazy. But everybody still knew it was my shit. Um, got a lot of backlash from LGBT. Even um, I reached out to one of the producers on on Wildin' Out, like, "Hey, I'm trying to get on the show, like, whether it's writing or being like a cast member." And it was like, "Oh, we good right now." And then like an hour later, he wrote back. Plus, like, it'd be hard to get you on the show anyway. And I was like, "Why?" He was like, "Is that nigga gay?" That nigga gay. <laughs> hey. Listen, listen, man. Check this out. As a a fifteen season veteran of Wildin' Out, man, yeah, I, I they don't be playing about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta wait till you get on first, then start firing right. off that shit. Right? No facts. He was like, you need to stay away from that for like some time before we could even like consider it. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. was like, well, I guess yeah, I'm just not supposed to be on. Oh, that. Right. let me tell you something. Like, even when I'm, I'm a, just a. Some little behind the scenes stuff. Uh, you, it's some things that I, I had to go take down after the fact. After I'm on the show a few seasons, I had to go back and take some things down that I had said. I didn't realize how controversial the things mm. that I had said in the past might have been, mm. but it was. It, even when you even like you, you doing, you saying some separate self deprecating stuff that is over the top. Mm. You know, like I had a, I had, I had a couple of jokes about you know um, cocaine. Doing cocaine <laughs> once again, never did cocaine in my life. Right, but everybody think I do cocaine, and they they people even bring me cocaine and up in their parties, and yeah, I get get cocaine gifts all the time. My goodness, yeah, I I would have tried to sell it, but you just don't know what being nigga shit no more. Right, right. I ain't finna kill nobody right. with your shit. Right, and I don't know who trying to kill me with their shit. Right, but you uh, it's frowned upon, so people do cocaine or uh, that that uh in private and stuff. So you kind of kind of have to walk the line even though you still have a fan base and everything but if you if you're trying to go like real mainstream you do have to uh censor yourself to a certain degree uh-huh. but at this particular point inside your career let me ask you this question do you care or are you still interested in doing mainstream stuff um are you saying fuck it you know what? At that moment, I was kind of like, fuck it. Mm-hmm. But then, like Indescribable said, with growth, you kind of got to sit back and be like, all right, what's the what's the bigger picture here? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Carlos Miller, I forgot how he said it, but it was like, be yourself until... Be who you are until who you are is keeping you from being who you want to be. Exactly. I don't know what the fuck that meant, but... <laughs> It just sounded good as like a segue, but like no, I would like to you know get like big brand deals and stuff like that because like it's only so far like the type of shit that I post and I I went through recently and like archived a lot of like my content just kind of like cleaning my image. I'm trying to post like more like selfies and shit just to be more marketable and whatnot. But you know I don't want to be you know just talking about sex and ass eating and getting my dick sucked on the internet. Yeah, you could you could drop the dick sucking. But yeah, everything oh, else is cool. Keep okay. it to a minimum. Get rid of the dick sucking. Get rid of the, the dick. I'm not. Do, no, I'm dick sucking is crazy. Getting my dick sucked. <laughs> dick sucking is crazy. People. Are, Y'all are talking I, about I, two different types of sucking. I'm talking about getting my dick sucked. Not. I don't. Oh no! No 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 no! I I, I, I never pegged you for a dick sucker. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. No. Okay. No, no. Never pegged either. Take okay. the peg out. It, 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 yeah. It, peg was crazy. Was yeah, like, that, yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if he said it on purpose. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I we didn't. can just That's restart the whole interview. Well. No, no, we can just not gonna go right there. That is not gonna <laughs> age <laughs> well. well. We like girls. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We love women. Yeah. Grown. You have to say that though, but that like to your point, like you don't know what's not gonna age well until it don't age well. Until yeah. Yeah, and so you know we age matters. Yes. Age is a number. It very much it's so. It's an important number. 
is an important number. Mm-hmm. Pick on somebody your own age. Yeah, I had to put that. <laughs> yeah, we might have yeah, cut yeah, that one out yeah, too. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Is, yeah, we gotta start over. It's crazy. Yeah. We gotta scrap this whole interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta start from scratch. <laughs> so, what does it uh, what what, what does it look like success look like ultimately for y'all? What y'all want? Man, I just want to be comfortable. I I always say like I don't even like being in the spotlight. I've always had stage fright. I don't like being the center of attention. But because I'm the talent, like I gotta showcase it some kind of way. Mm-hmm. If I could get a writing, to, if you know who I aspire to be, okay. Candy Burris. I love it. I love it. Candy Burris done wrote so many hits and people have forgotten some of the bangers that she she wrote for some of the biggest artists mm-hmm. of our generation, mm-hmm. the generation coming up. Like, this lady's a beast. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people don't even know her name sometimes. Mm-hmm. We know who she is from Housewives, mm-hmm. but people don't really get into like mm-hmm. her pen like that. Mm-hmm. And um, like... I would love to be just like her, like just casual, quiet money. Like she does her thing. She has her family. She travels. She do events or whatever. But like Candy's like cool to me. Like I would love to be like a Candy Burris type she, of person. She's a beautiful person. Yeah, she real seemed big. like she real dope. And we both Tauruses, so I know we got that in common. Well, we all three Tauruses. Shut all up. When your cool. birthday? May 7th. My birthday is the 16th. I just turned 35. Come on now. That's dope. I just bust 42. That's why That's this cool. interview is so. I used to drive a tour. Um, yeah, come on now. Good cause, good cause. Mm-hmm. It was good. August seventh is in the house. Shout out yeah. to John again. Yeah, big Leos. You know? Yeah, boo. <laughs> right, right. Actually, you... I have the worst stories with Leos. And Me you, too. You being my friend is even more. Leo, Me too. No, no, no. Leo women is different though from Leo men though. So you can't even. But Leo men. I'm talking about Leo men though. Leo women are not the same as Leo men. That's that's the fact. But see, oh, I man. am. Dang. I'm a little something. Mama gonna hear this. Oh man. man, that's crazy. Why you? What's your, what's your beef with Leo men? Nah, y'all trip a lot. You have you dated a Leo? Yes, man? y'all are controlling. Have you? Ever y'all are controlling. Slept with a Leo man though. Yes. Oh, have you ever gave? No. Okay, now you're in my personal beef. These BBs. Exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> Bank Shot liked the party, <laughs> and you got to tell him no, bro. That's crazy. You got to tell him no. Whoa, that sounds crazy. What? You got to tell him. She no. She said it. She's she doing the, the job. Jobs. Yeah. Right. Don't get mad at me. Hey, so I can't wait to this. I can't wait to this versus. So what happened with your Leo? And what happened? What what, what happened with your uh your your girl Leo? I've never dated a woman Leo. Yeah, because he knew better. Okay. He no, knew no, no, better. no, no, no. They like they're rare. You don't see them a lot. I guess it, You just be talking. I guess if you're looking for it. <laughs> they can say it. <laughs> <laughs> but so you dated a Leo woman? Yeah, yeah. When I was 19 years old. Oh, see, that, come on. that Come on. I told you before, mm-hmm. COVID shit don't count. You can't. Yeah, and y'all right. sneaky. Y'all sneaky, too. What does that mean, though? Y'all like sneaky. You what what? saying yes. Why? You hear it. You hear no, it. Y'all, y'all sneaky and y'all control What was y'all doing to make them be sneaky, though? Here we go. Here we go. I, no, I wasn't be doing that. Here I was in, my, my, my Leo was like four years older than me, and she had a baby on me and everything. And so. See? Sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what, what was and, and, your, what and was had you me doing? thinking it was mine all the way up until uh, See? control. She, uh, we, we got inside the delivery room and it was the the real daddy nigga was there. I was like, he was. I was like, who is you? He's like, man, who the fuck is you? And then so he was like, yo, this I'm, I'm here with my um, my baby mama and stuff. I said, who your baby mama is? He said, Lisa. I was like, shit, my baby mama named Lisa too. What? Get out of here. Whole time, and I, I thought it just was finally mine. hit me. I was like, hold on, this ain't my baby. This is, and I was. I was I was mad for a hot second. I was like, "This ain't my baby." I was like, "This is my baby." baby. <laughs> <laughs> right off the hook. This ain't my baby. See, I got my life back. I know I, and then right. everything went went well, and I started being more responsible mm-hmm. and whatnot. Even though I was a pretty, that's the way I thought I was. So, uh-huh. so Lisa the Leo taught you a lesson. Yeah, oh yeah, one hundred percent. Therefore, hey, let me tell you something. She tried to come back to um in, in, in um, before COVID. Once again, this Mm-mm. is 20, damn near 20 some years later Mm-mm. that she has six kids or like about five more See, different baby daddies. The Leo, like, <laughs> the Leo no. was the problem. The Leo was the problem. See, she warned you about what type of woman to avoid. So that's yeah. more of a lesson, not like a, come on, man. Manipulative. Also a Leo trait. That's how am I manipulating Jack? Gaslighting. Dude. Wow, you're just saying the words. <laughs> You're, you're literally just going through the list of words. Oh, my, my God. Like, Invalidated my feelings. Wow. 
So, uh, so uh, crazy. what's your Leo story? Uh, indescribable. That controlling, manipulative, like insecure and sneaky. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I and I haven't. I don't know them in a friendship phase. No, no, no. So no, that no, might you, be different. You were talking about the boyfriend you yeah, had. Yeah, the have boyfriend you, was like. Have you ever dated somebody who's not a Leo who was controlling and manipulative? Yeah, he got that. So what you're saying is that it's a man trait. Correct. Okay, good to know. A thousand percent. Good to know. Jot that down. It's just niggas. Jot that down. Good to know. It's not when you're born. You, you, hey, you, I'm glad you, know what? I'm glad you, you know talked to it, though. You, you, you know what, with Bank Shot, I got to go with you on this one, man. Because I think that, you know, it, it, whatever, um, it's a it's a case-by-case case thing. Mm. It is. You know, I, I'm not really a believer in the whole Zodiac situation. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? For real, for really. It's, it's fun to talk about, but yeah. Um, I, I think some sometimes people get a little carried they away do. with it. And what's so wrong with like manipulation? If you really think about it, like what's wrong with me trying to get you to see things my way? Okay, All right. no, no, no. Being persuasive right. is not the same as manipulating. Persuasive oh. manipulation. All these big ass words. No, because they, because they have meanings. Mm, like what? You have to you have to mean what you say and say what you mean. Just me trying to persuade. I could say, you uh-huh. know what? I know that you really love. Red drinks, ah. but I want you to try this grape drink because mm. this grape drink is really good. It's just as sweet. It's just as fruity. Ah. I think you might like it. That's persuasion. That's persuasion. All right, now, now manipulate me. If I give you a red can and I tell you this is red drink, but it's grape in it, that's manipulation. Because now, now I'm trying to control the scenario to make you make a certain type of decision. You didn't have to do that. It sounds like that. somebody didn't roofied you before. Yes, no, what I'm saying. Like, you no, got... but people do that. You Listen, y'all have never dated a man, so you don't know this. No, Who would yeah, buy the... You don't know this. Don't you would, They will look you dead in your face and tell you something did not happen that you just saw happen mm. and then convince you that you're crazy and insecure and jealous. So so you, is that, that's what they call gaslighting, right? That's what they call gaslighting. Okay. So you dated a nigga who bought a red drink and a purple no, drink. That is and not... He poured the red drink <laughs> out. He poured the purple drink in the red can it's and gave it she don't like purple. And knowing, like that's what I'm saying. That was your fault. You should have been known that he wasn't shit before. This was a hypothetical situation. Oh, it's not, oh. <laughs> when you find out a nigga like purple drink, you don't even talk. To I him. ain't look because I ain't doing the purple drinkness. I got you. Mm. I got you. It's, it's a, it's a mm. yeah, only red. But you know you have to you have to just get to know people. Yeah, like really and truly, you have to get to know people because sure folks be married twenty years. They wake up one day and they be like, I ain't know he would do nothing like that. And I'm like, that's crazy. That's what scares me so much about dating because you don't be knowing people, bro. People be sneaky. They be having whole lives. Yeah, people people do be scared to be who uh, who they really are. In front yeah, because there's the selfishness inside of them. Um, don't want to lose you, and they, yeah, that's not fair. Also, but that's how but you then, lose somebody, me though. What if somebody says, "Oh, I I was like this, but uh, I'm I I I I'll turn down for you. You know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll adjust myself for you." It are depends. You cool it depends on what the adjustments are because okay. I don't want anybody to feel like they're settling for me. Mm-hmm. If I'm not the one, go find her. Oh, okay. Just go find her. Everybody deserves happiness, even if I think your expectations are unrealistic. Mm-hmm. You deserve whatever you feel like you deserve. Mm-hmm. If it's not me, it's just not me. I'm not gonna try to force you to do anything. Okay. Like I had to learn that in adult relationships. Like, yes, I deserve X, Y, and Z, but if this man don't want to give it to me, why am I getting frustrated with him for not wanting to do it? Just go find a nigga that will. I, I, I love what you just said right there. Mm. How, how, how you felt about that back shot? I love it. I love it. I think she's making a lot of great points. Mm. She's mm. very um, persuasive. In now, the see, now you're said. being, <laughs> now you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't uh, the whole auditioning to be with someone mm-hmm. and all that other. I'm stuff. not doing it. Oh, got gotcha. you. Don't ask me what I bring to the table. Nothing. Oh God, damn. Nothing. That. <laughs> nothing. Don't ask me what I bring to the table. You wouldn't have invited me here if you didn't think I had something. So I'm not finna sit here and go through these interview questions. Just say you don't want to be. Just say you don't want to actively do the work to get to know me. Because once you get to know me, spend time with me, communicate with me, you'll understand what I bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Mm. You you remind me of this girl I used to talk to in uh, ninth grade. Huh? <laughs> what? Did you do? What? Yeah, yeah. Like physically or? Uh, uh, mentally. Oh. Mm. I I sound like a a ninth ninth grader. No, she was very advanced. Oh, okay. And then she. <laughs> Very, very advanced, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. And she doing her goddamn thing. She a lawyer now. Oh, that's what's killing it. Well, see, yeah. maybe she just had standards. No, there don't be nothing the, wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people like to try she to bully to you. Like people used to try. People try to bully you into backing down on. You know how you feel, but what you want is what you want, and you married, have now? it. Is she married? Do you know? 
<laughs> she a lesbian. <laughs> that might be that might be the thing too. I don't know. <laughs> she might have decided. Lesbian now. She might have decided that that was what she wanted. Yeah. Hey. hey. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Take her as she is. Got yeah. It was, I knew it was something off about it. I couldn't put my finger on it. <laughs> <laughs> you get, so you just said time, it, time on to reveals all. Time reveals all. You dig? Okay, what cool, week? cool. So it, it it goes down on the 13th mm-hmm. of um of June. Mm-hmm. And at Uptown Comedy Club, is this going to be, y'all going to travel with this? Yes. And um, let me ask you this question. So, mm-hmm. you, uh, just so people um get the distinction, are y'all would y'all say are y'all stand ups first, stand up comedians first? Me. I would I would say. I, How would you describe? I am a jack, no pun intended, of all trades. Mm-hmm. I started doing content, but when I moved out here, um, Ronnie Jordan took me under his wing, and um, pretty much was like, "Yo, you teach me the game doing content, I'll teach you the ropes of." Stand up comedy, you know, in Atlanta. You came up under a great guy. Oh, I came up under We a... started the same year. Hey, a fucking legend. Hey, you know me and pe- people used to think me and Ronnie Jordan was the same person? N- that's fucking hilarious. That's funny as fuck. You don't remember this story, Goldie, on, on the podcast? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember seeing that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking funny. Because Ronnie, I, uh, back, at, back then, because we, we met when we were 19 years old. 19 was a hell of a year for me. I, mm. I went through a lot. Yeah. I was a goddamn stripper, a comedian, a, a bouncer at the Velvet Room in the compound. I was all over the goddamn place. <laughs> But mm-hmm. at the time, my, my name was Honey Bun, and he had this joke about a Honey Bun. So people used to get us confused like that. Yeah. Oh. Hilarious. And you the Honey Bun nigga, right? When I first walked into that interview, it was a nigga that came, hey, man, you Honey Bun? No. He, they was talking to him, and like, nah, I'm a, I used to be Honey Bun. That's fucking funny yeah. shit. Oh, goodness. So uh, where did you meet Ronnie at? Um... Shit, through the through the internet, through Instagram. Gotcha. Um, I moved out here. He had reached out to me because um, I was like, at this time I was in high demand to get booked like by a lot of colleges, and he was doing a big like college circuit. So um, oh, so you were you were getting booked to do colleges, and you you did you was doing all your songs on the colleges. I at the colleges. I got booked more so because I'm Greek affiliated. I'm an alpha. So it was like, hey, we want you to come host this step show. Hey, we want you to come do this comedy show. Gotcha. Blah, blah, blah. So that's how I got plugged in. Ronnie was like, it's a guy named RJ who wants to book you. I'm RJ. Like, yep, RJ. So that's how me and Ronnie got wow. together. And then through Ronnie, I literally met fucking everybody out here in Atlanta that you can think of. So mm. so you you was, you was because Ronnie used to work that NACA thing. Ronnie used to, yeah. I think he got the record. He did like... 200 colleges in one year or something like that. Damn, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. He said he he said when the first time he did that shit, he bought his wife a Toyota Camry cash. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you but know cash that? is the, Everybody thought running with rich growing up. Like, man, man. what the fuck? Yo, yeah, this fucking money, man. Yeah, no, them colleges. Them colleges is, that's, they had that's a, a nice circuit to be in for real. Very, very, that nigga running was successful off the rip. Yeah. Like I said, I remember we, like, we all started doing the uh, comedy the same year. And Ronnie had won this uh won that competition to open up for the Kings of Comedy. Um, uh, I remember Ricky Smiley was hosting over his center stage. It was crazy. That Ronnie had Ronnie had all his motherfuckers inside the audience as he should mm. pull that bitch down. Oof. I never forget it. That was damn near like ninety nine or something like that. Yeah, Ronnie, it's crazy legend, man. Big shout out to Ronnie. Dig, dig, yeah. dig. So yeah, so that's how. I got introduced to stand up. Oh, hold on, before you go on to uh your your um, fraternity. Um, is uh, can you tell me what the alphas is? I once again I didn't go to college. Uh, alpha Phi Alpha, uh, black and gold. Uh-huh. Um, you know we we don't got no like ski we we don't really do no shit like that. We just say like oh six, and we got you. Low. We do the ice, you know, throw that shit up like pharaohs. They kind of say we like apes. Um, I mean you didn't go to school, so you're not really gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. But you know it's. <laughs> You putting us on right now? Yeah, I'm put, yeah, yeah. I'm mostly <laughs> telling you. A lot of people kind of you know know about them, but you know, AKAs and Alphas are actually like the the brother sister fraternity and sorority. I don't know if you knew that. Mm. Deltas and Qs, they are brother sister. I was in Snap the Yard. That's the closest I got to fraternity. You were? Yeah, I was. Me and Miss Pat, we in the same, the opening scene. Oh, um, so you yep. really? Oh, so you? Yep. Remo, I think Remo was in Stomp the Yard. I believe he was in part two. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that's Alphas, you know. Big shout out to them. I still rock with them. Um, still get booked from time to time dealing with them. Um, but yeah. So yeah, back to the original point. Uh started doing content, but now I'm I'm doing more stand up. Stand up is more the lane that I want to um do going forth. So I love it. I love it. Yeah. Same to you, uh, indescribable. I just I I have an immense amount of respect for what stand up comedians do. Cause I don't want to do it. Mm. Like I will host a show. I love what you just said. I will come because it ain't the same as social right. media content. Right. And people find that out when they try to get on stage. I've done stand up before. If I worked really hard at it, I'm sure I could be good. One hundred percent. But yeah. it's not something that I want to do. You and I don't. Do it. Yeah. I'm not like trying to force myself in that space mm. because there are so many people that are talented and they're skilled at it, mm. and that's their craft and that's what they do. Like it's not my it's not my thing. I don't mind doing it, but I, mm. it's not something I'm actively pursuing now. If somebody be like, "Hey, we got fifteen grand for you to come and da da da," we can we gonna make up some jokes. Yeah, I heard, I heard you. You about know, your money. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get some bread now. You if you I'm doing that. Yeah, so you know, it just depends on what the situation calls for. I'm I'm open to anything that will grow and challenge me. Mm. So whatever that looks like. Oh, word, word, word. Well, I'd, I'd love to see you on stage and everything. So, you know, there's going to be a- Well, the 13th, uh, we got a show. I'm going to be there. You're going to see. You coming? I, yeah, 100%. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a fan. We're going to really? we hold you to it, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to be held. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'll see y'all there. Bro, that with the- nigga game. <laughs> Uh, nigga gay. Nigga gay. I don't know why that one is the one that takes me out. <laughs> He's like, nigga gay. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Um, so um, you have an organization, Indescribable, mm-hmm. uh, for, for, for black people. You you uh, celebrate being black. And you, what is it? I don't mind. Yeah, well, my, my clothing line is an online clothing company called um, OK to Be Apparel. But what it stands for is it's OK to be black. Um, and so basically, it's just encouraging black people to be authentically themselves to let it, to let them know that you know like yeah you know we niggas it's cool you know like it, we have a culture we have traditions and we have shared lived experiences and it doesn't make us less valuable than anybody else because of the color of our skin so just be proud of it 100% yeah. I love, I, you brought it all the way back around again yeah. I love it you know that's what I do you yeah. know Indeed. with the hula hoop all right, man, uh, let me ask y'all this. And then this is going to be, and we're going to uh, wrap it up and everything. What y'all like about the game and what you don't like about it? You don't like me? <laughs> <laughs> Not we beefing. Hell no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I, can tell you, I can tell you what I love. I love that people bring me opportunities where I'm able to be myself. Mm. I like that I don't have to go outside of my character, my skill set or anything or, you know, my personality. Like people be like, oh, what you do on social media? We like that. Come over here and do that. And and it's paid opportunities, you know. Mm-hmm. The only thing I would say I don't like is, I don't know, I really don't like being the center of attention. But I'm learning how to like be more conversational and like, because, you know, when, when you out and people recognize you, like you can't be like, I'm just trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that. So I'm learning how to accept people liking me for what I do. Because mm-hmm. it's very weird to me. Mm-hmm. Um, not like in a negative way, but it's, I'm just not used to it. So I guess that's that's the most uncomfortable part Oh, so part you don't like the fame part of it? Not really. Because I'm really like the, the kickback Private. person that you see on social media. Like, I'm really that in real life. I'm okay. just like your homegirl for real. Gotcha. So when people put me up, like, I don't like the pedestals because people that build you up try to tear you down. Mm-hmm. And I be trying to remind people as often as possible, hey, lower your expectations. You know, I'm just, I'm human. I'm going to disappoint you and I'm flawed. So I don't like the part of the industry where people, they be on you, you know, one day and the next day, you just come to earth. And you might've made a, an honest mistake. Mm. Um, we see it all the time now. This don't apply to Diddy. I'm looking at all the cameras. This don't apply to Diddy. That man did what he did. Um, but you know, sometimes when you just you're new to the game, you don't know. Like you make mistakes, and so I think that there should be more grace extended for people who just don't know. Everybody need it. So that's the that's the, I think that's the worst part about it. Got you. Feel like people hold you to a standard. And stuff. Yeah, and I'll be like, bro, I'm not that great. How, how your family be treating you? They feel like you rich already. Always absolutely not. Them niggas. Okay, so my 
My family, when I go home, they roast me. I just was at the house last weekend, and all these niggas do is roast. They just play all day. Like, that's all we do. Mm. Like, nobody sees me as a celebrity, and that's why I like to go home. Okay. Because I, I just be wanting to feel normal. Like, mm. I don't want you asking me about my videos, and you know what I'm saying? Like, just like I'm just Geraldine when I go home. And I liked it. Mm -hmm. you, one of my, my pet peeves is if it, uh, anybody from my family call me Jack. I hate that shit. Really? I hate it. You know what I'm saying? Because that one, like you just said, home is where the heart is, mm -hmm. and, and that's my safe space. Yeah, that's where I feel the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I, be, I cringe every time a family member call me Jack. Because <laughs> when I'm at home, I'm not. That's not what I am. Right. I dig that. Need that normalcy. Yeah. Dig, dig it's, a, it's a grounding. Word. It word. keeps you grounded. Uh, hey, what, what about yourself, Mr. Bankshot? Oh, I don't go home that much. What do you like and not why? like about the industry? Oh, oh, about the oh the industry question. Uh, oh no, I don't go home that much just because I mean my hometown is I I love my hometown. Don't get me wrong, but it just ain't really too much up there no more. It's just kind of my grandma still up there. I got some siblings is up there. I'm actually mm -hmm. I got a show in Cleveland with Tyler Chronicles. Okay, in two weeks. This I'm gonna up. go. I'm gonna go visit them. That's when I try to go home when I got some shit to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I make my little runs and mm -hmm. say hi to everybody. But other than that. You know, I don't really be trying to go home. But um, as far as the industry goes, I mean, I'm kind of like her. I don't really like being center of attention like that. Go okay. it just it just comes with the territory. Yeah. Um, I don't like, you know, it's it's some unfunny people who get a lot of opportunities that you know I feel like who is it? Other funny people should get. You know, what they what their names? We ain't got to get into names. Oh. They know who they are, but. Uh, <laughs> They know who they are. You know your shit ain't funny. You know your shit ain't funny. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I mean, it's 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 cool. Um, you had asked earlier, like, what success is. I feel like I've I've reached success. Maybe not at the financial standpoint, but like I've touched lives positively across the country. You know, I've I've been places and people be like, man, you got me through a lot of dark times, and I be like, that's what's up. You know what I mean? So I I take that. You know, coming from where I came from, my upbringing and shit like that. Um, I'm 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 proud of that. So you know, I, I would take that. But you know, I just I just love it. You get to meet people. You know, what I mean, if I never picked up a camera back in 2013, I wouldn't have been sitting on this episode today. I wouldn't have met a lot of people. Wouldn't have met Michelle. Wouldn't have met Goldie. You know what I mean? Uh, Ronnie. Um, just endless people. So I can't be mad at. I can't be mad at nothing. I, I love everything about what I do, and. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change nothing. Everything's been a, a lesson or at least a learning experience. And you just take it and become better and move on with it. But like she said, though, I do hate the fact that us as regular people, we regular people at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And that you make one wrong mistake, one wrong move, and everybody want to try to amplify that. You know what I mean? You could do a thousand rights, but that one little wrong that's what everybody want to harp on. And it's like, you're only harping on it because niggas don't know you. Right. They can't exploit your shit mm. or talk shit about you. And it's like, you know, you can hide behind your little keyboard and talk your shit, and that's cool. But, you know, you got to just focus on the positive. And I think sometimes we do that. We might get a 1,000 comments and 999 will be positive, but that one little negative one, we're going to be like, nigga, fuck you. Like, you ain't right. shit, out of that. We're going to respond Block. to that one. But it's like, why? You know what I mean? 100%. Hey man, I'm I'm so glad that I uh you guys came and spent time with me today and you know this was an amazing interview and you know I consider you guys as friends. Love to build with y'all. I definitely got to exchange the numbers and stuff. Y'all so humble and, and so cool and it's just refreshing to uh see how down to earth and driven you guys are, man. And I wish y'all nothing but positive energy and success and whatnot. And y'all definitely are on your way to the top. In your respective uh, careers. Thank we appreciate you. It. Man, is there anything that y'all want to say to New Jack Thriller City, man, before we get up out of here? Hey, man, this whole time I thought Jack Thriller was his real name. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what? I love this nigga, man. I love this nigga. <laughs> Until he said I go home and they call me Jack. I'm like, what? Well, what is it? What they supposed to call you, you know what I mean? What they supposed to call you? Now I got to get on Google and look at what is Jack Thriller's mm -hmm. real? You ain't going to find it. Man, I don't know. I, I oh. can, it was a girl try to Google me last week and shit. She was like, so your name really is Jack? Okay. Yeah. 
And she didn't know me since like 09 or something. She don't have the FBI friends I have. Oh, yeah. I know you want to Because I can put it in a group I, chat. We're going to get it. We're going to get it, baby. Yeah. 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 Ain't no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no secrets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Nick, Nick gonna have all her time dating your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you, Nick, you, Nick you ain't, so police. Nick ain't ready. Nick ain't ready. <laughs> no, I think he said niggas is gonna have a hard time. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's what he said. Well, definitely for sure. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I plan on giving them one. <laughs> word, word. I know you do. But also, mm -hmm. make sure you check out my podcast, Urban One Podcast Network. She said it first. I love it. I she said that. it first. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's hard. Oh, and listen to my album. It's on all streaming platforms. It's called Indescribable. Also, I'm in Wicked City season three. It's coming out soon. Also, I was in a documentary on Netflix. Yeah? I was. What was the documentary you was in? It was about Lake Lanier. What was, oh, oh like yeah. the old school Lake Lanier where it was the origin of yeah, it? Yeah, Oscarville that was under it and they yeah. flooded the town. That's real? That's very real. Get the so Lake Lanier is built on up on They like flooded a, old... a city. Wow. They said they gave people the opportunity to relocate, but what they did was it was it was a, a black community. It was churches, yeah. libraries, schools, yeah. grave sites like are still actively under Lake Lanier. And so I was doing a video about it on TikTok and it just went crazy viral. And if you click the Lake Lanier hashtag, you will see nothing but white people having the time of their life. And I'm like, the ancestors are not pleased. Now you go see some black people too. I'd have been out there a couple of times. Really? Yeah, I refuse to go. I, I never. Um, I, I I've been out there um twice. Um, one time we were shooting um, um some behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but some pickup shots for uh, my president is black. Um, but you did the resort. You didn't go to the lake, right? I went to the lake. Oh dear God! Yeah, I, I was at the lake. We we shot a we we did a um a, the desert storm, storm scene. I, I was a soldier inside the scene. You know, saving this um, other soldier and whatnot, and it looked just like Desert Storm. And um, yeah, I, I it was um, I, I never liked going there. It don't I, feel I never right. Didn't know why the but it energy be off. I just found out about this in the last ten years. Yeah, what you um, what you're talking about? But and that, that's extremely sad. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, but do you do you know the? Uh, can you pinpoint exactly what time that was? When did this happen? I want to say the '60s. Wow. That's what I want to That's say. Disgusting. But you know that there are like hundreds of people die at this like every year. And people continue to go. Really? Yes. Wow. Wow. I almost said somebody and I like, nah, I ain't gonna say this on camera. I yeah. hate to end on such a summer note. Let, no, can no, we, can no, we no. tell summer's a joke? Good. Summer's good. Summer's good. Can we summer's watch a clip good. of SpongeBob maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, did, 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 so um, you, you got the Netflix thing coming up and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Your album, uh, it, or what is it called again? It's called Indescribable. Indescribable. It dropped on Valentine's Day, so it is out. You can listen to it on all streaming sites. Got you. Yep. I can't wait to listen to it, man. Um, anything that you wanted to pr promote, um, Bank Shop? Oh, yeah, I'm on TV. If you uh, He a, made it. Hey, he a, made it. You got a smart TV. Go to the YouTube app. <laughs> you make me so sick. <laughs> type, in, type in Mr. Bank Shot on the YouTube app on your smart TV, and I will be on that motherfucker. Okay. It count. It count. It count. D dig, dig. Hey, oh until next gosh. time, man. I'll see y'all later. Uh, indescribable, Mr. Bankshot. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out, uh, DJ Phoenix Star. Let's yeah, take a picture. I'll be on drugs. I do cocaine. Why would you say that?